be viable for Dan Air, and the fleet was sold off by the end of the 70s. Although part of a steady upward trend for the company, the 70s were not without their problems. 1973 saw a French air traffic controller strike, currency problems and shortages of fuel. Dan Air responded by attempting to switch as many flights as possible from the fuel-thirsty Comets to the more efficient BAC 111s and the Boeing 727s which had just joined the airline. But the dramatic 1984, a Dan Air 727 and six crews were chartered to General Aviation Services to operate passenger flights out of Lagos, Nigeria to airports within the country and in neighbouring countries. Here it turned out that the Dan Air team had more to contend with than poor air traffic control, weather reporting and landing aids. From its arrival at Lasham, Dan Air engineering had steadily expanded and by 1990 the company had the use of three hangars and four aircraft bays and employed 600 people. In addition, two hangars were employed in Manchester from 1976 onwards where 450 people were employed, and a large 747-sized hangar at Gatwick, where 550 people were employed. All servicing not only Dan Air aircraft, but those of other airlines too. The early and mid-80s were a boom period for the company. In 1971, turnover was £14 million, with pre-tax profits of some 800,000 and 1,300 staff. By 1988,